if you're a lady and you want to get pregnant, you need to know when you are ovulating. The signs and symptoms of ovulation, this is like the, the changes that occur in your body when you're ovulating. And if you don't want to get pregnant, you also need to know these signs and symptoms. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you 10 signs and symptoms of ovulation which you probably might haven't noticed if this sounds like something you want to learn about stay tuned like this video subscribe to this channel and also click on the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified when i upload a new video <music> Hey lovelies, welcome to my channel. To all my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you for always coming back and thank you for being family. And if you're just coming across my video for the first time, my name is Nurse Sandra and this channel is all about health, everything concerning health. So guys, don't let this be your last, please. A lot of women have not been able to conceive because they don't know when they are ovulating and they don't even know the signs and symptoms of ovulation. So like I said earlier, I am going to be sharing with you 10 signs and symptoms of ovulation so that when you look at your body, you'll be able to tell that, oh, I'm ovulating today. Now, what is ovulation? Ovulation is the release of a matured egg from the ovary. Now, after this egg is being released, it moves down to the fallopian tube where it stays for 12 to 24 hours waiting for the sperm to come and fertilize it. Every woman has a different ovulation day. It depends on your cycle. I am basically going to be telling you those changes you should watch out for in your body. By so doing, you'll be able to tell when you're ovulating. Number one is changes in your basal body temperature. This is your temperature at the beginning of your day. Like when you just get out of bed, when you've not participated in any activity, your temperature at that point is known as your basal body temperature. For you to be able to note the change in your basal body temperature, you have to start checking every day and note it down. You're likely going to be getting the same reading, but as you get closer to your ovulation, you see a slight increase. It's going to be like 0 0.5 to 1 degree Celsius increase just a slight increase so when you've done that for a couple of months you'll be able to tell when you are ovulating like the day of your ovulation note that it's not only when you are ovulating that there's an increase in your basal body temperature illnesses and diseases can also cause an increase in your basal body temperature so you don't start going about saying that ah, every time your body is hot or your temperature is high you can say i'm ovulating you need to have done your checking for a couple of months and jot the readings down so that when you sit down and check you'll be able to tell that oh on so day i had increased basal body temperature you'll be able to follow that up subsequently number two is cervical mucus change cervical mucus change is one sign you should look out for Every woman have their own normal discharge, but on the day you are ovulating, the cervical mucus becomes stretchy and clear, just like egg whites, which helps the sperm swim to the egg when it is released. For you to be able to test this, you just have to put a clean finger into your vagina and bring out the mucus then stretch it in between your fingers, just like the picture I'll be putting up here. Just stretch it out. If it's stretchy and slippery, that means you are ovulating. Number three is heightened senses. For some women, when they are ovulating, their senses become extremely sensitive, especially their sense of smell and taste. A person can just be far away and they'll just perceive their scent from afar. Some can even start craving for food. So when you're feeling this way at some point in your cycle, you might be ovulating. Number four is mild pelvic or lower abdominal pain. A lot of women usually complain of this pain during their ovulation. For some, they'll say it's one-sided. For this set of women, whenever they are having this pain during their cycle, they just know that they are ovulating. So this is something 
you should look out for. Number five is breast tenderness or soreness. During ovulation, some women notice breast tenderness and sore in the sense that when they touch their breasts, it becomes very painful. For a woman who has been observing herself, when they start feeling this tenderness or sore, they just know that they are ovulating. So this is one of the signs you should look out for. Number six is light spotting or discharge. Spotting during ovulation is normal, though it's not very common. Some women still experience this, and this is as a result of hormonal changes as the egg is being released. This spotting is light pink or red in color, but it's usually lighter than the regular period. So if you're a lady and you notice that at some point in your cycle you usually spot, you, that might just be your ovulation day. Number seven is increased libido. Increased libido is one common symptom of ovulation. Like some women notice that during ovulation, their sex drive increases. Like there's also enough energy to go along with this sex drive. It's just like your body telling you that, ah, it's time to make babies. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. You know that kind of thing. So when you notice that at some point in your cycle, your libido increases, just know that you are ovulating. So this is one thing to also look out for. Number eight is nausea and headache. Occasionally you can have headaches and nausea during ovulation. Nausea is like having the urge to throw up. Like when you have that urge, like you want to throw up, but it's not coming out for you. Say, ah, my stomach is doing me one kind. It's as if I want to throw up. That is nausea. So occasionally you can have this nausea and headache during ovulation. This is when you hear most women say, ah, I'm just feeling sick or they usually feel sick during their ovulation. And this could be as a result of increased estrogen and progesterone levels. If you feel this way at some point in your cycle, that means you are ovulating. Number nine is cervical changes. During ovulation, there are some changes that occur in the cervix, and it's only a woman that have been observing her cervix that can detect these changes. Now, what are these changes? Number one is the cervix becomes softer. If you've been observing your cervix, you'll notice that the cervix is firm. Now, how can you observe your cervix? You observe your cervix by putting a clean finger into your vagina and then you touch something feeling like the tip of your nose. That's just how firm the cervix is on every regular day. But when you're ovulating and you touch your cervix, it becomes soft and like your lips or your earlobe. When you notice these changes, you are likely to be ovulating. Secondly, the cervix is usually open on ovulation day. Normally, it is supposed to be closed. If you've been observing it on your ovulation day, you will notice that there's a little opening. And this is what allows the sperm to swim through for fertilization. The third cervical change you'll notice is that it becomes higher in the vagina. Normally, when you put your finger to observe your cervix, you just feel the cervix without much stress. But when you are ovulating, you tend to push your finger further up before you can touch the cervix. When you notice the three changes in your cervix, just know it's your ovulation day. Number 10 is abdominal bloating. Some women experience bloating during their ovulation and it is due to hormonal changes. As a lady, it is important you know your body very well and also watch out for these signs and symptoms so that whenever you are ovulating, when you see these changes on your body, you'll be able to tell that, oh, I am ovulating today. And also know your cycle. It is very important. Know your cycle. Lastly, you can get the ovulation kit and use it. It will also help you know when you are ovulating. And it can be done in the comfort of your home using your urine and it is easy to use. So guys, this is where I come to the end of today's video. If you are yet to like this video, please like this video, 
subscribe to this channel please share this video to your friends family and loved ones to your community please share this video thank you for watching this video guys see you in my next video bye